In fact, Smalls used to actually live in my room for a while. He would follow me everywhere I went. He's really funny. I like that they're really caring birds. Um, they always know when I'm having a rough day, and it's funny because the other um, on Friday, I went to go eat my lunch out there, and I went to go take a bite of my burger, and they all just took it away from me. So I like to share. <laughs> it was very really funny. My name is Audrina Banta, and I am the Smith Valley Turkey Manager. Just for this year, and then I'm going to hopefully keep on doing it throughout high school. So, um, at the beginning of the year, I and last year, I wanted to be the turkey manager because I saw how fun it was because uh, I came to help pluck the feathers. So, I figured that it'd be really cool for me to start something out this year. And so I did an interview and I got in. Um, it was cool for me to have that experience because we don't have that at our house. We have pigs and chickens and all that. So I thought that it'd be cool if I had turkeys involved in my life too. So I was, I was doing well. And then um, when we first ordered our first set of turkeys, we had only like 10 survive out of the 35 that we had because, or 45, because uh, the temperature when they were being shipped here um, was like from hot to cold to really cold to hot. And turkeys have to be at a certain temperature for them to live. So they, most of them died on their trip here. Um, I didn't think most of them were gonna die though. I thought that they were all gonna be healthy, but I was wrong about that. And I just thought it was really cool that they got to stay at my house, except about the school because of COVID. I learned that life doesn't go the way you want it to, and I also learned that um, turkeys are really hard to take care of, and I learned a lot about turkeys. Um, I learned how they breed. I've also learned uh, different breeds of the turkeys, and I had different breeds also, so it was fun for me. And I also learned how to process them and stuff. It was really cool. Um, I sold them for $3 per pound, live weight, because of all the um, stuff that happened to me with the thieves and stuff. Um, my message to the thieves would be that they can come and take as many as they want, but it's not going to bring me down because I'm a strong young lady and I know how to take care of myself and I will go back up again because I'm very positive. So if they want to come back, that's good with me because I know that I can bring them down with my positivity and my um, maturity of not stealing because I know that that's the wrong thing to do. So then they were all doing well and then we had someone come and they took um, 12 of my turkeys and they left two behind that were dead. So this, when they took lots of my turkeys, um, the more they took, the less money I would get. Uh, so that's why I decided to do $3 and I try to do a little more less than the stores. That way um, people would know that I have the better prices and I have the better turkeys because I know how what I feed them. I know that I don't have no steroids in them to make them bigger. I just do plain and natural, all natural for my turkeys. All I know is that the experience has been really awesome for me and I've learned a lot from it. Um, I've also decided that I wanna show turkeys this year um, for the Grange program that I do, including all the other animals I show. So I'll have to learn about that this year too. Another thing on my bucket list that I would like to learn about. The ones that are very skittish around people. Uh, the so they don't get names. The person that stole came and traded with. They're very, they're, not, they're very skittish. I don't know, probably all sweet talk to each other. They they talk to each other a lot. They like to welcome people a lot. They enjoy seeing new people. They enjoy that a lot.
this is VFG. He's the male of it. He's the boss of them all. And then we have Sweet Pea is out there. And then we have Dolly. And then all the other ones are mostly the skittish ones that they replaced. And the pardon one is named Smalls. He's the dark one. Because he, he was the biggest out of the group, and you know the Big Friendly Giant movie. That's what I named him after, because he's, he's really huge, but he's really friendly as well. It would probably say, um, when you stop petting it, to pet me more. And right now, just keep it up, because they enjoy being pet a lot. Yeah, I got a grant um, for the, um, the farm credit, and it's where... Um, I get a thousand dollars for myself for my project, and so does the FFA program gets a thousand dollars as well to help their program. So I'm hoping to buy a bigger incubator because right now I just have a tiny one. So we're gonna hopefully get one that holds at least 50 to 60 eggs in it. Yeah, we come and feed them every morning and night. They get fed twice a day up to a one bucket that we feed them. So they get two buckets per day. Yeah, during school hours at the lunchtime, I'll come and eat lunch out here and spend time with them. Um, when I graduate, I'm going to not do this job anymore. I'm hoping someone else will take over and take good care of them. Um, but, because I want to be a vet when I grow up, so after I gra graduate, I'm hoping to get into a college and after that going to vet school.